And now, please welcome, as already announced, the patron of the Teddy 2013 and the governing mayor of Berlin. Last year, he uh, actually was not here because he was visiting the Pope, but I think uh, this chapter is over now. So welcome, Mr. Mowbray. Well, dear friends, dear Teddy community, welcome to the, uh, it's the 63rd Berlinale, wonderful, and it's the 27th Teddy Award, welcome to that. I'm very happy to see that so many of you are here that uh, have uh, seen, had the opportunity to see that many outstanding film productions all through the week, and a big thank you to Dieter Kostnick, Wienerspeck, and the whole Berlinale team for this outstanding Berlinale. You actually really did a tremendous job again. It's uh, not really that long ago that it would have been impossible to uh, get to see so many gay, lesbian, queer films at the Berlinale, but this just didn't come about by itself. It is a social kind of change that was actually put into place, that which was actively pursued, and uh, many, many things have been achieved, but uh, we should not forget that the struggle is not yet over, and in some areas where we have had made some progress, is there were some steps back even taken, and which is why this festival is so important, which is also why this Teddy Award Ceremony is so important, because it shows recognition for those people who touch upon very sensitive uh, topics and who try to send out new signals and give new impetus to the discussion also in other countries of this world. And this is also why this Teddy is so important. At this point, uh, I would like to quite clearly say that apart from the problems that we have here, that there are still countries where actually the opposite of progress is uh, what is uh, the daily order. And uh, accordingly, we were all very shocked to hear that the Russian Duma decided to decree a law that uh, prohibits the propaganda on homosexuality, as they call it. This is just a law that states that homosexuals can still be legally discriminated against in Russia. And this is a true shame. And dear friends, we have to clearly label it that way. But uh, thankfully, there are other examples too. Another parliament, that was the Assemblée Nationale in France, passed a law that uh, now allows for the marriage of same-sex couples. So, congratulations to France for having made that much progress now, finally. So you can see the bandwidth is large. Let me at this point uh, say, and I think it's something that cannot be repeated so often enough, that it's not a question of ideologies, it's not a question of uh, political convictions, it is just a question of basic rights, of human rights, and of uh, humaneness in itself. Uh, if the people now start to understand that other people need to be accepted, though they may be different, of course, against the backdrop of them accepting everyone else, too. So a very, very basic principle is to just respectfully look into the eyes of other people with respect and acceptance, and then things go right. So this may still be a dream, but we will keep working on making that dream come true. Thank you. Thank you, Klaus Wobereich.